everybody. So today it is Sunday, 10, 10 p.m. And I am looking at all of the homework that I have and I am a little bit overwhelmed, but this is typical medical school style. I have found in my life that the best way to get through an impossible amount of work is to do things one step at a time. And doing things one step at a time involves being scheduled and organized. Something that you guys probably don't think I am, but I actually am because I'm a medical student. So obviously I'm more organized and scheduled than probably the average person. It's just that I'm probably the least out of all the medical students. What I do is I go to my app. This is my iStudies Pro app. And I go to my assignments tab. And in it, you can see that I have everything that I need to do every single day laid out so that by the end of it, I make it out alive out of family medicine and I'm able to pass the exam. If you guys uh, wonder how I get through all of this, it's just one day at a time. An important part of family medicine is knowing the immunization schedule for kids and adults because even as an adult, you still have to take your vaccinations. And I found this cool video called US Assembly Shortcuts Easy Immunization Schedule for Use Only. And um, a lot of people talk about Dr. Hip and think that this is a very good way of memorizing their vaccinations. So I'm about to check it out and let you know it works. So far I think the videos are pretty helpful. I'm actually got these down already. Okay guys, so it's a new day of school. I'm dressed in my gray dress that I wear all the time and let's get ready to go. Alrighty, finally have my life together and got here on time. So that's cool. So yeah, that's the hospital that I work at. It's very, very nice. <sighs> Very tired. Lots of patients today. And it's almost five. So a long day. Tomorrow I take a quiz in the morning, which I'm not looking forward to. It's a quiz all about pharyngitis and acute bronchitis. And it's like finally I'm learning stuff I actually need to know. Because, you know, I just wish I spent as much time learning about different types of rare cancers as I did sore throat, seeing as to how many people have it or allergies. I literally had to Google, how do you tell the difference between a cold and allergies? Because I didn't know. And um, it's just like, I'm a third year medical student. <laughs> Shouldn't I know like all of this stuff already? But you know, the more that I rotate and the more that I spend time in family medicine, the more that I learn, and so maybe this is just this is just more learning. Alrighty, so it is 10:30, and I am here with the caster. Caster, say hello to the camera, caster. Don't be rude. Anyways, so I am now on my laptop and uh, gonna finish off my homework for the day because I have a quiz over in the morning. Hopefully, I can finish this before midnight because I have class at nine. Wow, I have a lot of reading to do. <laughs> Woohoo! Finally done reading and it's time to go to sleep and take that quiz tomorrow. Hopefully all of this information stayed in my head. Probably not. We will see. Alright guys, here we are driving to school even though I'm full freaking light for this quiz. I don't know why I'm like this. I really don't. Hey guys, good news. I got an 100 on the quiz and so did the group. Now we're doing this worksheet but everybody in class left so I left too and now I'm in the uh, hallway area. This is a caramel frappuccino with no whipped cream and extra caramel. Um, and that's my lunch. And now I'm just filling out this chart all about abdominal pain. Boom. So I'm at the UWorld website and everybody recommends getting UWorld for third year. So I'm going to get the Q bank of a year with 41 and 42 for 407. My step to CK Q bank will it only last 360 days after I activate it. So since I don't need it right now, I am not going to activate it. How cool though, it comes with little self-assessment exams. So I will be ready for step two. All right, finally finished. Oh, hail the mighty Calyx. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is Thursday and this week has gone by way too fast. We are at the hospital, per usual. And I woke up on time and I'm on time today and I even had the chance to look really nice 
So hopefully this is a good day. Hey guys, so I am now here at Starbucks because I am on break. I got out at 11.30 from clinic and then at 2 I go to the nursing home to continue seeing patients for the rest of the afternoon. So I get a 2 hour and 30 minute break, which is great because I could definitely use some coffee. And I have to look at some patient charts, be able to read this before I go to the nursing home and then I have to interview nursing home patients and then debrief to my attending. So everything's just moving really fast. Um, I just wanted to vlog because a lot of third year is going to be making mistakes and I was always told that if there was ever a time to make mistakes it would be this year because third and fourth year are like the last years where you're not liable for anything and you're not actually making any orders or you're not actually doing any procedures by yourself. It's good to make mistakes now because they don't hurt you at all professionally. However, they do hurt your feelings. <laughs> I mean unless you're like a stone cold, you know, brick that doesn't have emotions and doesn't get hurt easily. I assume that's not most people, but in my class it just seems like everybody is so confident and so sure of themselves and really good at taking criticism. But I'm gonna go ahead and address how I feel and I am, am a teddy bear and if there's any other teddy bears in this world who, you know, no matter how um, tough you try to be on the exterior, things really do still hurt your feelings. Lately I've been getting a lot of criticism, constructive criticism from my attendings and they don't really say it in a really mean way or anything. It's just that I, I'm not used to it. As a first and second year, nobody's criticizing you. Nobody's telling you that you don't study enough because you're on your own. But now you're being watched by other people and so when they bring up criticism like you're spending way too long with that patient or what are you doing sitting here you should go be doing something it's it's you know I'm learning and I'm you know I I'm someone who I I only want to make my attending proud see like why am I sad I don't understand why I, I can't deal with this when I go to my rotations I go with my 100% I go on time I try to make sure I look nice do all of the homework or the reading that I'm supposed to do for that like I do a hundred percent of as well as I can I have no intention of letting my attending down or disappointing them because I actually am very interested and I'm very invested in what I do so that's just what you know I deal with whenever someone criticizes me I'm very good at handling it at the moment I just shut up and I'm just like okay yes okay definitely I will do that and I do what they tell me to do and I improve but I I'll think about what they said days later. All they have told me is like little things, not that I suck or that I'm disinterested or I just take things so to heart. I know that's something that I'm going to get all the time in third year. You know, I'm probably gonna have someone tell me that I suck and someone who's gonna be way meaner to me and I just have to deal with it somehow. It's just really difficult for me to not think things personally. I really do put maybe too much effort to be light to appear as excellent. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me, I'm crazy. Really, that's what's going on. So maybe I just need coffee, need to stop being so tired, need to stop being a child that can't take criticism, need to read these patient charts, and get a move on with my life because there are bigger problems to have. Sniff, sniff. Sometimes caramel is the only thing that keeps you going on a bad day. So I'm just now leaving the nursing home. That's right there. And, ugh, Mother Nature is so unforgiving. I'll go in there and like these patients don't even recognize me. They don't recognize their doctor, their nurse. They don't know who their family is. And it's just like humans try so hard to have justice and equality and like that concept is lost on nature. Nature will just slowly eat your brain away until you don't even know who you are anymore. For no reason, it's not like you were a bad person, it just does, it just happens. Alright guys, so it's Thursday evening, cooking for Bay. Have my sketchy farm going on. I'm going to watch all of the psych farm videos and then Bay is over there, chilling and relaxing. And we're just going to do this until we fall asleep basically, because this is our lives. Oh, and Kristen, how do you feel about passing your step exam? Great. Yay! Any words about step? Anything you'd like to share with the future generations? The worst experience ever. <laughs> All right, positive. 
So one of my favorite snacks for studying is to take a small personal sized watermelon, take a giant knife, cut it in half, take a spoon, and boom, you have a watermelon bowl. And now you can study to your heart's desires. Hey guys, welcome to another morning with me. It's 7.45, I totally forgot my white coat at home so I had to go back and get it. Weekly panoramic of the hospital scene. It's very large hospital. So yay, let's have a good Friday. Alright, I got out at 11.30. Things are looking good. You know it's hot when you left your phone in the car and your phone basically can't even turn on because it's so hot. So, great. Let's see what temperature it is. Oh, 98. I've been walking around with a dirty white coat for um, about a week now. So, I'm gonna take this bad boy to go get washed. Hey guys, so I am here today with Bay, and I just fed him, and Calyx over here taking a little after nap in a spherical position. And uh, Christian is making me watch Suits, which is, I think is some show about lawyers. And I am, have literally zero interest in law, so that's kind of difficult. There's a rise going on, and I have some awesome news. I just got a Facebook message from someone in my class who is telling me that there is a research position in plastics. He gave me the resident number so that I can call him right now and get in on this research project. I am just sick and tired of being everyone's go-to and not getting what I asked for. I don't mean I sound insensitive, but you're a corporate secretary. What exactly did you expect? Alright, we are here to celebrate Kristen's passing of his step exam. Yay! So guys, I just found out my placement for my PEDS rotation. So I'm this line right here. I'm at UMAN for my first third, UH Nursery for my second third, and then I'm at Inpatient Team Onc, which, like, this, are, these are, this is PEDS, right? So I am nervous about that but hopefully it's still wonderful and uh, educational. <laughs> Congratulations, honey. Hope you enjoy your cheesecake. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Instead, the dreams and desires of the unconscious mind enter a young Salvador Dali. The year is 1934. I feel like this would be such a cool hairstyle to have. Saturday pool day with Adora. Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so hot here. It's like 108 degrees. So this feels good. And it's so pretty in here. And we're here with a lot of families, so that's lame. She is gorgeous. Let us take a close look. All right, guys. So this is the white coat. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's pretty dirty. You know, in family medicine, you kind of just wear your white coat all the time, and I feel like it's more of a uniform than it is anything to protect you from germs. A lot of the patients that you're seeing aren't infectious at all. They're just here for a checkup and stuff. This will be going in the washer with a whole lot of gain. Calyx is joining me on my uh, visit to the public laundromat. Thank you, Calyx. And I put it on hot so that we get all those stains out of there. My mom bought me this cool cart so that I could take my laundry to the laundromat. Come on, Calyx, get out of the plants. We must go. Come on, Calyx. We ain't running no late shift around here. Saturday night, guys, you know what I mean? Why does that sound so familiar? Okay, guys, now that we have the white coat, we can start adding all of my badges back and my stethoscope and all of the extra stuff that I have in my white coat. So this little lapel area is where I put my badges and these are all of my badges. So now I'm just going to put my badges in the place I want them to be at. And now we button them in. I put my stethoscope, which is a Lippmann turquoise gold and rainbow stethoscope, and I put it in this pocket. This right pocket over here has these pen holders, so this is where I put my pens and my notebook.
you open the inside of your white coat, you have these secret pockets where you can put a few things. What I always put was a uh, extra ID badge. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about my beautiful brain badge. This is my favorite organ in the body, so I got a badge about it, and I will find a place to put it on my white coat. And there you have it, folks. We are back in business. Now I'm about to go do something else a little crazy. I'm going for a little errand. I have no idea how this will look on me, but might as well try. Wish me luck, guys. We have washed the hair. Hey guys, so I've got my hair cut. Um, it's kind of like a lob, pointier ends in the front, and uh, it feels very fluffy. I love it so much, and um, I'm excited yet really nervous to show everybody. <laughs> All right guys, well thank you for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.